Oh, hey neighbor. Uh, just out here looking stuff over. Uh, running some thoughts through my brain uh, on this subject. I'm just going to do a, I'll make this real quick, I promise. The last one went over. Um, I'm going to try to keep this to three minutes. What we're going to discuss today is belt alignment and belt tension. Now, I mentioned briefly in the last video, number four, I think it was, the three important things that you have. I pointed out one, the meter. Still going to still gonna plug the meter most importantly the manual yes most importantly the manual and the last most important item that you'll ever want as a can-am owner is this guy this is your Cricut 2 v-belt tension gauge and it is manual it is designed to measure the tension of belts that are I believe it's over a three quarter inch thick and because you can use it on even on your car uh, if you have fixed belts and then you can um, but we use it for our belt drive now Can-Am does sell a meter the meter costs eight hundred and eighty five dollars from BRP and you basically stick it on the bike behind the, the foot gauge and from your thing and it gives you the exact nano, nanometers tension in electronic form and format but you know, you really want me to pay 900 bucks for shipping and tax and all that to pluck a string? <laughs> yeah. Wow, so can they start coming down on price of these special gauges and things like that if they're gonna promote them? Because that thing probably costs 20 bucks to build with that. And the same with the, the, the computer on this. It's the oldest operating system on earth. I think I've worked on better versions of DOS than the operating system in butts. It's a joke. The reason why I say this is you can carry this on the bike what happens if you break the bike and you need to replace the belt i'm just saying speaking hypothetically but if you're in the field are you really going to drag out all these electronic meters and do this or are you going to keep this in a, in, a, in a spot where you can see it you'll also as you know the bike or get to know the bike you'll be able to read belt noises and the feel of it the thrumming of it as you drive it when especially you know have weight on it so you'll be able to tell when it's loosening and not behaving correctly you gotta remember that's also your lifeline. You, there's no replacement strap to the bike and it is made of rubber and Kevlar and glass and, and all that, it's very strong. But uh, what happened to me this spring is we picked up a rock, it's in the one protector from the outside, but we picked up a rock from the inside out and it landed on top of the belt, rolled into the uh, um, last pulley, whoop, popped it right in half. And it, like I said, I walked seven miles wasn't fun so it was a hot day it was 108 degrees and I was drinking like 13 quarts of water or 13 pints of water that day and it was still bad but be prepared be safe and, and do this belt tension now onto the belt tension this is very simple you take your Cricut you zero it and I've got pictures of this for detail you slide it midway the length of the belt I always use midway as right behind the triad for the foot don't use the lobe for the, the this is the lobe that they put on for your saddlebags and, and the saddlebag users will know all about this don't use this lobe use this as your guide so you come up and under you actually put the finger or, or the gauge on your finger like this and i put the pointy side forward so when it clicks it's not getting in the way and it removes easily from, from out from underneath the bike i'm not crawling down there it's 30 degrees so you'll you'll figure it out
Now the second thing I'm, I'm going to walk you over here so we can uh, talk this one over and bring you down to about level. Now you'll notice I've been rolling the belt around the shop and look how it is sitting at the edge of the primary drive and it's kind of actually sticking over by half a millimeter or a millimeter and there's that big gap right there you know two to three millimeter or almost four or five millimeter gap well that's where what it's designed to do but the belt really needs to be floating in the middle you want one to two millimeters on this side you want one to two millimeters on that side and that belt should ride in there perfectly as close to it as you can get now this is set by adjusting the tensioners on the base of the system right in here you see that adjuster and there's a matching cousin on the other side now for the, the belt to go this way you want to tighten this side or bring this axle back forcing the axle that way if you want the belt to come back this way then you this is the side that you'll tension now it's important to remember that it's 30 degrees in my shop right now and cold weather and all that and this believe me is set to perfect tension and perfect alignment but i rolled the vehicle around in substandard weather and the belt does get cold so i'm not going to touch it it's perfectly aligned uh i did a maintenance roll to you know get it on and off the shock stands and roll it out in the driveway a little bit to let it warm up and that's all it did now come spring when it's warmer that will come back to normal for one and then secondly your bike gets to tension and heat within 50 feet of driving if you're riding in cold weather but as you and i know vss and can am and all that other wonderful stuff you ain't riding in cold weather uh they do not ride in snow the the ride nanny does not work in snow don't try it don't get it shut off either honestly they're a wild little beast if you get vss shut off and uh I have a version of an ECU with that for summer use, but I wouldn't even dream of riding this bike, uh, riding any or not, in the winter. They're just too wild. Uh, you want that sensation? Go buy their snowmobile. They make a great one. So, anyway, uh, that's all I got for today. Uh, I'm I'm gonna work on these films and get them out to you tonight if I can, and we'll be continuing on with some other, uh, I call them more item-based maintenance items later on, but the maintenance is done. I'm ready to ride next spring.